Welcome to the second day of the Novena to St. Ignatius of Loyola. The theme for today's prayer is Montserrat and Devotion to Our Lady. When Ignatius' mother died soon after his birth, he was brought up by the local blacksmith's wife, coincidentally called Maria. When Ignatius was seven years of age, his eldest brother Martin married Magdalena, who had been a lady-in-waiting to Queen Isabella of Spain. Ignatius' brother Martin and his new bride received a painting of the Annunciation as a wedding gift from Queen Isabella. The painting meant so much to them that they had a new chapel built in Loyola Castle to house this cherished work of art. So, from the age of seven, Ignatius would have seen this painting on a regular basis. There was also a statue of the sorrowful mother in the castle, not to mention numerous shrines and sanctuaries that dotted around the surrounding countryside including a much-loved shrine to Our Lady of Olas in the Loyola estate itself. But all these reminders of Our Lady did not magically make Ignatius into a young saint. In fact, he grew up to be a worldly and vain man, obsessed with stories of chivalry and intent on making a big name for himself. He owed his conversion to a special intervention by the Blessed Virgin Mary, thanks to which he moved from being a ladies' man to being our ladies' man, inasmuch as his focus now turned to her son Jesus Christ. As a pilgrim, Ignatius decided to keep a vigil of arms one whole night before the altar of Our Lady of Montserrat. On the eve of Our Lady in March, in the year 1522, he dressed himself as a pilgrim and went to kneel before the altar of Our Lady, at times in this way, at other times standing with his pilgrim's staff in hand, he spent the whole night. Although Ignatius knew that Mary was only a creature like the rest of us, he also realized that she had been made powerful through grace. And that's why he kept close to her throughout his life. In return, Mary helped to form Ignatius into an outstanding priest and a master of the spiritual life. It is no wonder, then, that Mary is invoked as a powerful intercessor in the spiritual exercises. Opening Prayer Lord God, you call us to be sons and brothers of St. Ignatius as we prepare to celebrate his life and vision Help all of us, his sons, to become intimate friends of your son Jesus and not count the cost of joyfully serving him in the society of Jesus. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. We'll now sing a hymn to honor our Mother Mary. Daily, daily. Sing to Mary, sing my soul, her praises you. All her feasts, her actions, honor, with a heart's devotion true. Lost in wandering contemplation, be her majesty confess. Tempest rages round me, 
She will come the troubled sea. Gifts of heaven she has given, noble lady to our race. She the queen who takes her subjects with the light of God's own grace. We shall now listen to a scripture reading. A reading from the Gospel according to John, chapter 2, verses 3 to 5. When the wine was gone, Jesus' mother said to him, They have no more wine. Woman, why do you involve me? Jesus replied, My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servants, Do whatever he tells you. The Gospel of the Lord. His mother said to the servers, Do whatever he tells you. Mary's direction to the servers was an indication that she had some responsibilities in the wedding arrangements. Mary was sure that her son would not decline her wishes, even though he disagreed on the timing of the manifestation of his glory. Mary was more concerned with the difficulty of the family because she herself had faced poverty in the family. Mary, whom Jesus entrusted to John as his and our mother, is always watching over our difficulties as she did at the wedding at Cana. She does not perform the miracle. She intercedes for us when we are in distress. Her message to us is what she said to the servants at the wedding of Cana. Do whatever he tells you. This small but amazingly powerful statement echoes down the centuries to us today. Mary caught the attention of the servants at the wedding and she is trying to catch our attention today. I can see her standing beside me today and gently pointing to Jesus and whispering to me, just do whatever he tells and asks you. What is Jesus asking us to do? He is inviting us to follow him. He is asking us to love each other as he loves us. He is asking us to forgive each other. He is asking us to live like him in our ordinary daily lives. He is asking us to reach out and to care for those who are poor, homeless, alone and hungry. He is asking us to be his followers and disciples. How do we do this? By following the example of Mary who did what God asked her to do. Today, may we listen to Mary and do what Jesus asks each of us to do, just as St. Ignatius, edged on by Mary, was attentive to Jesus' promptings and did what he was asked to do. For the following intercessory prayers, our response will be Saint Ignatius in the seat for us. Saint Ignatius in the seat for us. For the Church and the Pope, that God will bless Pope Francis with good health and bless his efforts to make the Church truly a sacrament of God's love in today's world. We pray. Saint Ignatius in the seat for us. For a superior general and the leadership in Rome, 
all the major superiors and all local superiors that God will bless their service to the society and to us and give them wisdom and strength. We pray. Saint Ignatius, intercede for us. For our benefactors, that God will bless them abundantly for their generosity and kindness, and that they be filled with an awareness of God's love and care for them, we pray. Saint Ignatius, intercede for us. For our collaborators, that sharing in the common mission of Christ, they may experience consolation and joy and not count the cost, we pray. Saint Ignatius, intercede for us. For all those we serve and minister to, that God will touch their lives through our ministries and they may discover and experience God's love and care for them and enable them to become witnesses to the good news, we pray. Send Ignatius in the sea for us. For our family members and friends and all those we have promised to pray for, that they may grow closer to God and come to experience the peace only God can give, we pray. Saint Ignatius intercede for us. For our communities, that we will grow closer to Christ each day and thereby truly become a community of friends in the Lord, united in mission and radiating joy, we pray. Saint Ignatius intercede for us. We shall say the final prayer together. Heavenly Father, you gave St. Ignatius of Loyola to your church to bring greater glory to your name. May we follow his example here on earth and share the crown of life in heaven. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Noble knight, lead us over bravery, lead us on, lead us on, we will fight, need us win, need us win. What the foes gather near, we don't fear, we don't fear. We no shine, we no fear, this a noble girl. We will stand ever true to death, to thee, true to God, to faith in me, true to thee. Lead us on gallantly, ever on valiantly, need a banner to fight for the church and its right. Oh, for God's own greater glory, But for God, who is our King, all our hearts will be reign. Growing stronger and stronger as fighting lasts longer and purer and purer to make heaven surer. With crosses and trials and many denials we stop. But to die through loyal to our King who reigns on Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, Welcome to the second day of the Novena to St. Ignatius of Loyola. The theme of this prayer is Montserrat and Devotion to Our Lady.
The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. The star you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. The star you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh and well among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, 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 God, pray for us, sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, and we may be in the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Therefore, for this is your Lord, the grace of our hearts, that we to who can punish Christ, your Son, was saved by the necessary angel. And by us, passion and cross, brought the glory of his resurrection, for the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was beginning, is in our and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. St. Ignatius, pray, pray for us in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Good night.